Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to edit photograph in Adobe Photoshop CS5. On the screen, you see two photographs. The one on the left is the original photograph and the one on the right is the one after editing. Do you notice any difference between the two photographs? The first difference is that the original photograph on the left is darker in color, whereas the one on the right it's brighter and more pleasant to look at. The second difference is that the original photograph framed both the pink flower and the green leaves and the green background around it, whereas the edited photograph crops up most of the green leaves and the background to focus more on the pink flower. Today we are going to focus on three functions in Adobe Photoshop CS5 First, the brightness and contrast settings. Second, the crop tool. And third, saving it in a format for web. To follow the tutorial, you can refer to the download link of the original photograph, which is under the description of this YouTube video. Let me first close the edited photo so that we can focus on the original photo on the left. Now, we are going to learn how to adjust the brightness and contrast of this photograph. First, go to Image, Adjustments, select Brightness and Contrast. A small dialog box will appear. Make sure the Preview option is checked so that we can preview the changes in the photograph as we adjust the settings. For both the brightness and contrast settings, there is a handler that you can drag to the left or to the right. For brightness, dragging to the right will increase the brightness and dragging to the left will decrease the brightness. Alternatively, you can key in values ranging from minus 150 to 150. Looking at the photo on the left as we adjust, a setting of around 50 looks adequate. So I'm going to key in 50, uh, which makes the photo look really nice. For this photograph, we're going to try to adjust the contrast, decreasing it. And you see the photo doesn't have a lot of drastic changes. We adjust it to the right to increase the contrast. It looks too intense, uh, which I think doesn't make the, the flower look nice. So I think it's best that I'm going to keep it at zero. So to confirm the brightness and contrast setting, click OK. Next, we're going to learn how to crop a photograph. Select the crop tool on the toolbar. Click and drag to indicate the area that you want to crop and then release the mouse click. Once you release the mouse click, the software will automatically give you a preview on how the photograph might look like after cropping. If you are not satisfied with your earlier selection of the crop area, you can click those little small squares here and click to adjust your crop area. Once you are satisfied with the crop selection area, double click the photograph or hit enter key on the keyboard to proceed with the crop. Next, we're going to learn how to save the photograph to be used on the internet. Generally, it's a good practice to save photographs which are not too big in file size and not too high in resolution for viewing on the internet. Files that are too big in size can take a while to download. In this example, I'm going to show you how to save the photograph for use on the internet. First, go to File, go to Save for Web and Devices. This window shows you a number of settings that you can select for your photograph as well as the preview window. Now, in this window, currently we can't see our photograph properly because our original photo is too high in resolution. So what we can do now to preview the whole photograph is to go down to the zoom level here and select 
fit in view. This will fit the whole photograph into the view of the window. Let's go to the image size over here. This shows the original width, which is indicated by W, and the original height indicated by H of our photograph. PX stands for pixels, which is a common measurement of photograph, uh, whether in, uh, in Photoshop or on the internet. Now, 1600 pixels is too big for use on the internet, so I'm going to adjust it down to 300. You can adjust it to your preferred uh, dimensions as well. You realize that as you change the dimensions of the image, the preview window um, which shows the photograph might have made some adjustments. To better reflect the actual view of the photograph in its actual pixels, select another view which is known as the actual pixels view. This will show how the photograph will look like in the actual pixel dimension. This view is very useful to us in indicating how the photograph will look when we view it on the web page with the actual pixel dimension. Let's click save now and type in the file name flower editor. Click save. Congratulations! You have completed the basic editing of a photograph by learning to use the brightness and contrast setting, by using the crop tool, and by learning to save for the web. Thank you and hope to see you again!